Everyone, my name is Pythi GB and welcome back to the 24th episode of my Terraria 1.3 Let's Play. As you can see, we have ourselves a bit of a problem in that we have a blood moon again. But as you can also see, I have been in the process of farming a whole bunch of hallow dudes and I... I have gotten a lot of stuff, my friends. So, let's just go through what we have. We have ourselves 10 unicorn horns. We have ourselves two more blessed apples, which is kind of weird. We have ourselves a few banners. We've got ourselves some rainbow bricks. We've got ourselves some accessories, trifold map, and a whole, whole bunch of other stuff. There's a Nimbus right there. Let's kill him. There we go. He's dead. <laughs> These guys think they're so smart. They're just nuts. So, what we're going to do is... We are going to do some things. All right, you're dead. All right, cool. Ah, it stopped raining as well. Okay, fantastic. That is very cool indeed. All right, it means the Nimbuses will stop spawning, but oh well. I'm okay with that. Now, boss summoning stuff is the first chest. So we're going to go into here. We are going to grab out. Uh, actually, no, that's pretty much it. So we need some bars. Grab them out. And then we need some souls. Of light. There we go. So let's go over here. We're going to make ourselves the twins summoner. And we're also going to go ahead get ourselves. Oh, here we go. <laughs> going to try and get ourselves a whole bunch of holy arrows. And then we're going to take down the twins. And then from doing that, we should be able to make ourselves the uh, the melee hallowed armor, basically. That's what I want. What I really, really want. All right. So oh, I need to take these guys down. Come on. Leave my peeps alone, dude. Leave my peeps alone. So, we need to go into here. We need to grab these out. We need to grab out some of these. We need to go over here. Make ourselves some arrows. Here we go. Look at that. Holy arrows. Oh, boy. Do we have a lot of stuff. All right. Oh, I still want to take down the twins. Here we go. And... Twinsies. Here we go. All right, friendos. Sorry, but you have to die. It's how the world works. It's how I work. Can I buff? Oh, okay. I've got my uh, well-fed debuff, which is awesome. Not, not debuff, just buff. Because that's what it is. Just a buff. All right. We're going to focus on the green one. I've got to get used to their names, haven't I? All right. Let's just uh, disable the old map really quick. Here we go. We're going to do the old cheese. Cheese it out. Cheese like a pro. I'm hoping that I can get a whole bunch of damage on the green dude. Uh, where is he? Oh, there he is. Uh, he has 4k health. Okay, cool. Have ourselves a few seconds left until regen. I do need to be aware of that, of course. Right, I'm hoping that by doing this, I'm hoping I'll be able... Oh, uh, I'm hoping I'll also be able to make myself some other things. Okay, these guys are getting kind of dangerous. And health. There we go. Alright, that's one down. Oh, that's both of them down, apparently. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> I don't even remember taking down the other one, man. I must have got killed somewhere over here. Yeah, we get a, did we get a trophy? I bet we weren't lucky enough to get a trophy. Ah, I don't think we got one. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Okay, so we need to try and farm ourselves a good old black lens. Or maybe a couple of them, preferably. Because that is, of course, what the optic staff requires. And we don't have any black lenses just yet. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of farming again, just like in the previous episode. We're just going to farm out the Blood Moon, see if we can't grab ourselves some cool things. If not, then, oh well, we'll move on to the next thing. But, yeah, I'm going to get on with it, and I'll be back momentarily. Ooh, another Mimic just dropped some stuff. Star Cloak. Okay, that's one we haven't got before. Sweet! Right, let's just take inventory, shall we? Unfortunately, I don't think we managed to get a black lens from that either, which is really unfortunate because I really would have liked it because the optic staff is kind of cool. And as a result, I would not have minded having it in my possession. But, uh, oh yeah, well, Terraria's obviously got other ideas, so that's a thing. All right, I think it's time to organize our inventory and then move on to the next thing. Alright guys, so as I was mentioning before, we're going to try and go ahead and make ourselves the melee hallowed set. Here we go, 24 defense in the mask, 10 increased melee damage and crit chance, and then 10% increased melee haste, or speed I guess. So we're going to put it on here, just so we can quickly transfer between the two sets. So if we put it on, this now does 133 damage, this does 85. Wow, okay, that's a... That's a damn load. I feel like I can reforge this Tree Knight's Edge though to get something else hurtful. 
I mean, it's okay, but it's certainly not the best thing you can get in the world, is it? Not quite as good as Ruthless or Legendary or something like that. Uh, oh, there you are, buddy. Having a bit of a stroll, are we? I'm sleeping on the job, dang guy. Oh, what the hell? Wow. Okay, well... Hmm, that was, uh, that was a fruitful endeavor, wasn't it? Right, uh... Why, why did you, why did you not provide me with something good there, Terraria? Hmm? Alright, I'm pretty sure we're not going to need all of these souls of sight, so I'm going to... Yeah, that'll do. I'm going to sell 31 of them. I should give us enough for maybe another reforge. 24 gold, yeah, that's pretty decent. Reforgey, and boom! Forceful. I shouldn't have reforged it in the start, should I? Uh, Alright, let's see how much these uh, apples sell for. Five gold each, not bad, not bad. That's pretty decent, actually. Hmm, maybe there's something else I could sell, perhaps. I don't know, man, I don't know. Holy arrows, not really. I've got 22 gold. Actually, no, if I've got 22 gold, I might be able to reforge again. Let's just try it. Boom. Nasty. Well, it's faster. That's, that's, yeah, it's decent. It's decent. It does less damage than it did before, but it's got more speed on it, so maybe perhaps more damage per second. Oh, wow. Look how quick this thing is now. Wow. Okay. <laughs> We're doing pretty well. Okay, I guess the next thing to do is to see if we have any accessories that will uh, that will assist us with our melee set. Do we have a Do we have a melee emblem? I don't think we have a melee emblem. If we did, I might have used it accidentally. I think I might have, actually. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay. Uh, cross necklace and star cloak, I know, can be combined. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Right, okay. I'll tell you what. Let's do a montage of me upgrading stuff, shall we? All right, guys. So, it turns out there's no montage after all. The only thing I could upgrade or make was uh, the star bell. So, that was kind of pointless, wasn't it? Oh, the uh, traveling merchant has arrived. Let's see what you have, buddy. Oh, the paint spray. I'm pretty sure that's the last thing I needed in order to... What the hell is this? What again? What is even the point? <laughs> oh, this game is so derpy. What is actually even the point, man? All right, Crimtain bars. I don't believe we're going to need these. No. Pretty sure they're not used for the for the one unit you can get. All right, let's just have a look really quick just before I sell them. Uh, yeah, but it's not used. Okay, cool. So, let's go sell these things. We're gonna buy that, uh, we're gonna buy that paint spare, because then we can make, I believe, uh, is some sort of gadget or something. So, let's buy that. Okay, and then if I go up here, go back in the accessories chest, I should be able to grab the cement mixer, the paint sprayer, the extendo grip, and I believe it's this as well, and I should be able to make some sort of gadget box thing. Uh, yeah, there we go. Gizmo pack. Architect gizmo pack. Increases tile and wall placement speed and reach automatically paint placed objects. Oh, that's like one of the ultimate building accessories. So if you ever want to be a builder, boom shakalak. There you go, buddy. That's what you're going to need. Uh, I'm going to keep that on me, actually. So I'm going to favorite that. The star veil, I'm going to put here. Although, it would be nice to reforge it, get something better. How much is it going to cost? 22 gold? What? Blimey. That is unbelievable. That is, uh, that is quite expensive, dudes. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Right, okay. I think the next thing we're gonna do... Oh, hold on, I should go back and, uh, I should go back and grab... Uh, do, 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 grab the buff potion, which is Spelunker. There we go, we're gonna grab a Spelunka potion. We are going to go hunting in the underground jungle, hopefully for some life fruits. And then... I'm hoping to also find some feral claws because then I should be able to make like a... Uh, I can make something out of all of these. I think it's the fire gauntlets or something. Those things are really, really good. Set everything on fire, basically. It's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll meet you in the jungle. Really? Rain again? Dude, I'm telling you, man. I'm pretty sure it rains in Terraria like 90% of the time you're in the world. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Hmm. I don't know, man. All right, guys. To the jungle! Ah, well, this is an interesting discovery. I found a plantera ball right at the top of the jungle. That's certainly convenient. I mean, if we managed to take him down first time, then that would be probably the most convenient thing we've ever had happen. But, oh, well, we are now in the underground jungle, my friends. And, of course, like we normally do, we are going to be doing 
this spelunking session in the form of a montage, my friends. So, let's go ahead, let's use one of these little babies up, and let's get on with spelunking. Alright guys, I am back at base and by god did I do a lot of mining in Spelunkin. I did have two Spelunka potions but I actually found another one inside of a chest so I wind up doing a grand total of 15 minutes worth of Spelunking. And, as you can see, we managed to grab ourselves a pretty decent amount of stuff. So let's just do the old quick stacky action. There we go. We managed to obtain five life fruits, which is pretty significant. Brings us up to 430 health, which is very, very good indeed. Got ourselves a barrage of different weapons and stuffs and tools. Look at this. We've got mahogany wands and whatnot. Oh my god, we've got some cool things going on. Okay, so, accessories... Wow, just, just wow. And by the way, I should probably mention, uh, this. Uh, no, this. There we go. <laughs> ah, look at all the stuff we managed to get, man. We even managed to get an Uzi, which is pretty freaking cool, man, if I do say so myself. And look at that, we got, got ourselves back up to 64 gold as well, which is very, very nice indeed. So, we need to go ahead and we need to put things away and do stuff. So, here we go. Shouldn't take too long. But the bottom line is... Oh, I need to start the second accessories chest. Okay, no worries. We need to put the fez away. So you can go in there. Got feral claws. Okay, and a bunch of other generic crap that we don't really want or need. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly do some things. Got ourselves a turtle shell as well, which is very cool indeed. Because that will be needed eventually. So, furniture. You go in there. Oh, man. We need to go ahead and see if we can make a bunch of cool things. So, let me once again go ahead and organize stuff, and I'll be back once we're ready to build stuff. Alrighty, guys. So, the first thing we needed, of course, was the Feral Claws. We managed to get some, which is awesome, because it means we can make the Power Glove. And then, we should be able to make, there we go, the Mechanical Glove, and then, we can make the Fire Gauntlets. There they are. 4% crit chance, 10% increased damage, and melee speed. Ooh, it's so good. So this now does 120 damage. Wait, isn't that a decrease? What the heck? Okay, so I've actually got a decrease from that. That's interesting. Uh, oh well. Oh wow. Okay, this is really going fast now. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, right. What else have we got in here? Anklets of the wind. Got all kinds of generic stuff in here, haven't we? We really do. We need to go through and sort stuff out, don't we? Right, aside from that, I don't really see anything else that I can make immediately. So, yeah. Let's go into the hard mode stuff chest. Let's grab the turtle shells, the chlorophyte bars, and the chlorophyte ore, of which we managed to grab 317 of, which is insane. Oh my god, this is going to give us so much chlorophyte, it's going to be ridiculous. Here we go. Do -do -do -do. Another 52 brings us up to 88. Blimey. Okay, and then we can start making the turtle armor, which is right here, which is... Awesome, man. Okay, 27 defense. This does 15, so that's an increase of 12 within itself. Blimey. Okay, might as well put it on. Boom. Right. So 19% increased melee and movement speed. If I put that on, I imagine this is going to go a lot slower. It's, it's not that much slower, actually, to be fair. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, I've never made these three swords before because I've never really... I don't really get it, to be honest. I don't really get the point of them. Right, okay. Uh, chlorophyte armor, I don't think we really need them. Chlorophyte bullets might be useful. But aside from that, I really want to try out one of these things. I honestly don't know which one's better. So we've got a chlorophyte saber, shoots a spore cloud. That also shoots a spore cloud. I don't get it. What's the difference between the saber and the partisan? Confused. Claymore? I mean, I'm gonna do it. Wow. 
That was a waste. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have made that. I've never made it before though, so you'll have to forgive me. Hmm, interesting. Can I use this thing? <gasps> Ooh! Okay. Bye, son! Bye! <laughs> so long, suckers! Okay. Skipping ahead all the way to daytime. Who knows, maybe a pirate invasion or another solar eclipse will happen. Either one of those two would be pretty awesome, but... It is not to be. Ah, oh, well. It's kind of like a gambling game, isn't it? You shouldn't get into that. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. We don't do too bad, though. So, yeah. We're going to be ending the episode right there, my friends. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. I've just realized we haven't even done the question of the video. So, let's just do that really quick. Comes from a user by the name of Jemcam1987. And their question is, what's the longest video you have ever made? I believe my longest video on my channel is actually the finale for my Terraria 1.2.4 Let's Play. It went on for 50 or more minutes. So it was pretty ridiculous. So, yeah. It, yeah, it was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> oh, dear. I still don't know why I made this Chlorophyte Claymore, man. It was pretty damn stupid of me to do that. But, oh well. Doesn't matter a great deal. We can always grab some more Chlorophyte bars later down the line. But, yeah. Okay, and then my question of the video to you guys is going to be this. Do you guys prefer longer form or shorter form Let's Play videos? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And, of course, if you have any suggestions for the question of the video, then leave them in the comments area below. And you'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. But, yes, guys, like I said, wrapping it up. We've already in the outro, so <laughs> yeah. Oh, this episode's been derpy, hasn't it? And I apologize if it's been shorter slash longer than usual. It's kind of hard to sort of judge how long an episode is when you're doing a lot of farming, so yeah, yeah. But anyways, guys, like I said, thank you very much for watching. Your support has been much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next one.